science of microbiology came to existence with the discovery of techniques to grind lenses and to combine them to enable high magnifications to visualize these minute creatures. Though microbes were discovered more than 300 years ago, the actual science of microbiology developed only after 1800s. The Dutch spectacle makers Zacharias Janssen and his father Hens made the first compound microscope in the late 16th century. It had biconvex eyepiece lens and a planoconvex objective lens. This microscope gave the magnification of 9x when fully extended. Early compound microscopes gave the magnification of 20x or 30x. Anton van Leeuwenhoek, a Dutch cloth merchant and scientist was the first man to make and use a real microscope. Leeuwenhoek was born in Delft, the Netherlands on October 24, 1632. He was the son of a basket maker. He secured an apprenticeship with a cloth merchant in Amsterdam as a bookkeeper and cashier. The simple magnifying glass used by cloth merchants was his first simple microscope. In 1654, he returned to Delft for his own drapery business which was successful. He worked as the head of the city council, inspector of weights and measures and the court surveyor. Leeuwenhoek did not receive any higher education and had no university degrees. But his skill and love for science earned him reputation as the father of microbiology. He developed ways to make superior lenses. His lens tube had a magnifying power of 270x. He was first to describe bacteria, yeast and life in a drop of water, circulation of blood in a capillary, sperms in the semen, etc. He reported his findings in the letters to the Royal Society of London and French Academy. He originally referred to these single-celled organisms as animacules, now known as microorganisms. Leeuwenhoek's instrument was a simple type of microscope with powerful magnifying lenses. It had single lens mounted in a tiny hole in a brass plate which was the body of the microscope. The specimen was mounted on a sharp point that sticks up in the front of the lens. The 3 to 4 inch long instrument had to be held up close to the eye. It also required good lightning and patience.